Pokemon fans, Epilepsy here, and I'm bringing you a crazy battle. Like, this is the most insane battle I've ever had in my life. We got Rick sending out Galila. We got Peep sending out Statlin. We got me sending out a Houndoom. And we got uh, Frodo sending out an Age Slash. So, now we got a kind of like a Halloween spirit, guys. Well, except for Statlin. Statlin and Glalie. I guess Glalie's more... Well, it looks pretty evil. But, Pete's gonna take a Statlin back because he knows exactly what his partner's gonna do. Me? I don't know what his partner's gonna do, but I'm gonna go Megan and I'm gonna stay in on his partner. I'm like, hey, I'm a fire type and that's a nice type. I can easily take down what that thing has. But, I want its ability first. I want to get Moody because a Mega Moody Houndoom? Come on, guys. That is scary. Solar Power's got nothing on Moody. But the Glalie goes for Explosion, which I did not predict. Everyone else knew that an Explosion was happening. I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me. But, uh, I'm gonna probably, uh, survive that. I have 50 HP left. I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Glalie's not that strong, but that thing gets a Mega, and when that thing gets Mega and explodes, I'm not going to survive anymore. But, uh, my partner, Frodo, is going to go for a Sacred Sword on the Statlin, but since it's now a, uh, Cothagrigus, it's not really a problem. And I get my Moody Special Defense gets upped, and my evasiveness gets dropped, which is kind of good, but kind of bad, like it's a double sword, because they do have a special attacker, but they also have a physical attacker right now. But the physical attacker can't really touch me as much, because it only has ghost moves and a dark move, so I'm pretty safe, and I can't get burned by will o -Wisp. But he's going to go Mega now, so he's going to get that awesome Prankster ability, because Binet is crazy with Prankster. I love my Mega Binet. But uh, Frodo's definitely going to go for the uh, King Shield, predicting that he's going to be attacked by either a Shadow Ball or a, uh, like a knockoff. But I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse on Cuffer Grigus. I'm going to deal as much damage to this thing as possible. Like, look at that. That is crazy amount of damage. But the Binet goes for a Will-O-Wisp, which goes through King Shield and destroys the Sage Slash right now. And especially it being a uh, physical Sage Slash. And I get to flinch, which is extremely lucky. So this uh, Cuffer Grigus is going to faint next turn, and I'm not upset with that. But, like I said, guys, I'm going to get another Moody Boost. Moody Houndoom is the new meta, guys. So, my special defense goes up. My actually falls, which is a problem, because I have Heat Wave. Binet's going to avoid. Not good. It's not good at all. But, I'm going to be able to take down this Coffer Grigus, because, uh, Stab, very powerful Mega. Come on. Like, why aren't people using this? This is perfect for Halloween. But this knockoff is going to do crazy amount of damage to the Sage of Slash. And, uh... It's, got, it's holding a Rocky Helmet. I usually don't see Age Slash holding a Rocky Helmet anymore. It's usually Leftovers or something. But this Age Slash is going to go for a Sword Stance. Now, that's good and bad at the same time. Because, well... Uh, Binet gets Prankster Destiny Bond. And that is a very dangerous thing. But my Moody raises my defense this time. And lowers my attack. Which I'm perfectly okay with my attack being lowered. I, the only physical move I have is Super Fang. And that does not even matter. But now he's, uh, Peep's going to send out Maximus, which is a Statlin. And I should be able to take Statlin without a problem. And my teammate, well, he's going to lose his Aegis Slash because he is slower than a Binet. So that's kind of uh, unfortunate. But I'm going to do as much damage to Statlin as I can. It's holding a uh, an Assault Vest, but I get the flinch, which is amazing. So I'm able to survive at least another turn. Moody raises uh, again and lowers my accuracy, which is very bad. Now I got a minus two accuracy, and Heat Wave is like my best move I can have to hit both these guys. And if I miss a, uh, a crucial Dark Pulse, this could be over for me. This could be game over. But Frodo's gonna Mega Evolve his Guard Jump, which is shiny, and I do not like shiny. And uh, Rick's gonna miss that Will-O-Wisp. I miss the Dark Pulse, like I said, which is awful. Frodo's gonna get his Sword Stance up, which is good and bad, but Maximus going to go for like play rock on my Houndoom, and Houndoom takes it like a champ. Moody is such a great ability. Now I raise my evasion if sharply, and but my defense fall. But I think I'm a plus one defense still, so who cares? Um, but I'm going to go for Heat Wave. Maximus avoids, and Bayonet just takes it like a champ. I, I made this Bayonet personally. It is supposed to be like a bulkier Mega Bayonet, but it is not going to be able to survive the... Uh, Dragon Claw, which I usually don't run Dragon Claw on that. I usually run an Outrage. But, uh, this Stalin misses a crucial play rough on the, uh, Striker. They cannot touch this, uh, Mega Garchomp. But, Moody activates again. Like, oh my gosh. Like, this Houndoom is still alive. Like, why is Mega Houndoom still alive? Like, Moody, Mega Houndoom, that should have been the primary target. But, now we're gonna have a, uh, Protect Swellow, because Rick is running the, uh, Toxic Orb, Guts, and... All that good stuff, facade. 
And I'm going to do as much damage. Get the burn on this Stoutland. And uh, Ferdo failed for that bait. I don't know why. But I'm going to get hit by this play rough. And I'm going to survive. It's, oh my goodness. What are you doing, Houndoom? This is insane. But uh, D. Ivet gets poisoned by the Toxic Orb. Uh, so now Facade and Guts is activated. That thing is going to be dangerous. But my defense raises, and my special attack fell. And I was like, okay, that's not good for me, because uh, I'm not going to be able to survive much longer. But this Facade is going to do crazy amount of damage to this Garchomp. Uh, do you have it? I have... Uh, I cannot hit Rick at all. But Maximus faints. Thank goodness, because uh, he was definitely going to come after me. Uh, Rick's... Gonna get hit by the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is going to take down the Swellow. So, uh, we're in a really good position right now. Um, Moody's gonna activate one more time. Special attack raises this time. And my actually fell. So, uh, my actually just keeps going down and down. I think I'm minus three accuracy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're gonna have a Mega Aerodactyl on their side of the field. And that is not good for my Houndoom. Because, well, Houndoom's a fire type. And I'm at very low HP, even with all my defense buffs and everything. Like, Mega Houndoom will completely annihilate at this range from a uh, Aerodactyl. But, we got a Poison Jab. Since he protected, it doesn't hit. Moody's going to raise one more time. My special attack raises sharply. And my defense fell. I definitely am not going to survive anything this thing throws at me. But, uh, Striker manages to avoid the, uh, the Rock Slide. I get taken down. Who cares? I had a Moody Mega Houndoom that just wrecked face. Like, oh my god. So this Poison Jab is going to hit this thing pretty hard. And, well, doesn't get the poison. So that's a little unfortunate. But I'm going to send out Crocodile. I run a Choice Scarf Crocodile. So this Stone Edge is definitely going to end this battle right here, right now. Now, guys, if you like this battle, please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Because that's a try attack. And until next time, guys, later.